18 minutes. That's not bad, is it? Inside the Robins Kiowa tent. We've been in the rain all night in it. And other than the fabric being a little bit cool to the touch, nothing's come through. So let me show you some of the cool features. As well as the pole, which takes us up to our central point. You should also see the circular opening there. That's so that inside this tent you can have a tent camping stove. So the flue would go straight through that hole. And also on the floor down here, you can see there's a section that you can zip and unzip. And basically the whole of that can just be opened and exposed to the ground so that the tent can sit directly on the ground rather than the fabric but you can also get a little fire carpet which is fireproof and fire retardant but pretty cool something i definitely want to look at doing at some point to do to extend the camping season into the winter months it's also got around the outside um a few little can't really see them necessarily there's, down there's a little couple of eye rings can you even see it not really there's a couple of little eye eyelets down there there's a like a pocket that you can strap just along the bottom of one side of it um, so you can put bits and pieces in shoes books food whatever there's little air vents here really useful lets the air flow I'll show you another bit of the air vent stuff in a second and there's one on the other side so these windows have kind of got three stages to them there's the fabric which just velcros off so now we can see into the rainy outside world there's also a fly net level so that you can then get to what is just hard plastic on the outside which you can also then unzip and roll up and get it out of the way so you can actually have a completely open window on both sides or you can have it so that it's open but with the fly net so that you're obviously not going to get any bugs and stuff in and then this just velcros up now I don't know whether it's how I've pegged out the tent too tight, but the the Velcro only just reaches there. So in terms of a little mod that I need to do, I need to just get another little piece of double-sided Velcro so that I can just extend that and make it a little bit more secure. But these are things you learn as you, you get a tent. Obviously the little toggles to tie up the material and fabric as you um, open things up and see what you want to see. The front door, big opening into a little porch area. There is a zip-on um, 
plastic ground sheet that you can put on the inside of the porch area as well if it's particularly muddy um, which is really useful we, we, for the very first time we camped in this it was horrendous weather and so having just a little separate area that we could keep all the boots and stuff like that um, and still keep them kind of effectively dry off the floor was pretty amazing but this door as well as opening fully and you can tie it back so you can expose yourself to the outside world if that's your thing there is another layer I can't actually put my hand through that whether you can even see that it is netting it's your uh, fly sheet so I can have the door open to the outside world but not really open to the outside world which is pretty cool Was it the back up because it's a bit wet um, we have actually got um, an inner for this tent as well there's a few eyelets hanging up around the outside of the back wall um, and there's also another central piece that you can put over the pole so it sort of sits sits on top of this lip and it's got a couple of hooks and basically the, the, the whole back can become a huge bedroom um, so where we've got our sleeping bags and mats and stuff you can actually have a, a whole bedroom that fills that back space now there's pros and cons to that one of the pros is that when it's wintry and cold having that extra layer it definitely does offer you a level of extra protection from the cold um, gives you another little sort of insulating section which is pretty cool um, you can have it where there's a zip between the two bedrooms you can unzip that so it's just one massive bedroom in fact I've not tried it yet but there is a way that you can fully unzip one half of it and just have one effectively one quarter of the tent as a bedroom rather than half of the tent as a bedroom so it's pretty versatile I think also on the outside it's got a couple more pouches and pockets so that you can store things in it so it's, it is really useful and when we use it for all four of us we do sometimes use that space the only downside is that it does mean that you then totally close off half of your tent for the rest of the day so when it then comes to wanting to use the rest of the area which is not bad you know we've got we've still got enough space in here for i've got a double chair and a single chair um, but still plenty of space for me to walk around so it's still quite a big area but when you come camping for a good couple of days sometimes it feels a little bit claustrophobic when you need to be inside because of the rain so actually today when it's just me and Chris we've, we've left it completely open and the weather's warm so it's absolutely fine what else can I tell you about this red cord and this red cord are attached up to the top of the tent so when I pull on the red cord what happens is the cap lifts up and it does that on both sides so if you've got really hot weather you can just pull those up they, they lock off down here um, it means that you can let the heat escape and you get a lot more, even more fresh air billowing through. Um, there's also a, where can you see it? Can you see it down in the corner? There's a little zip there so that you can bring your electric cable through if you're going to do an electric hookup. And there's also these black Velcros, which I think, and I'm only guessing, but the, the, you can then run the electric cable um, up. So if you've got something like a powered light that you want to hook up onto the central column, you can do. So there you have it, the Robins Kiowa TP tent. It is a fantastic tent. We bought it about two years ago when there was a particularly rainy night and the previous family tent that we'd had for a long time just let us down the kids were getting wet through we were getting wet through um, so we decided to go and get ourselves a new tent and we we knew that camping was going to be something we do a lot more of with the family 
So we decided to go and get this. Um, this is not a cheap tent at all. It's made of canvas. It is very, very heavy. Like, um, I'll see if we can get somewhere up here how heavy this tent is, but it is incredibly heavy and incredibly expensive. The advantages of that are that it is incredibly robust and the TP design of it eliminates the one major problem that we had with our previous tent, which is that sometimes when you get the, the sort of hooped tents, um, especially the bigger tents, you tend to get, when the rain sits on it, that, that you do get a little bit of a sagging. No matter how tight you try and tension everything, there's always a little bit of rain water collects and, and, and just over time that compromises it. The beauty of the teepee tent is that we shouldn't really have that issue. The water should just run straight off it um, and the canvas material should last us a hell of a long time. But we've used it a lot used it several times over the last couple of years and obviously it's going to get a load more use I went camping out in it two or three weeks ago I'm camping in it now I'm camping in it next week so when I'm not doing my backpacking or lightweight stuff and we certainly as we're going as a family or or you know three or four people or I've got me and Chris today there's a couple of us in it um I'll bring it because it's just brilliant and the speed at which it goes up um, when I was watching back the video of us putting the tent up so the tent took us in total once we'd finished everything like all guy lines and everything it was about 19 minutes 18 or 19 minutes but the process of just getting it out of the bag sorting some pegs pegging, pegging out the outside and getting that central pole up so that basically you've got the tent up and you can start chucking stuff inside it. You can mess around with the outside later on. The tent itself was up in eight minutes, which is pretty good. And that's with Chris who'd never never put up the tent before, so I had to explain a little bit about putting it up. It's dead simple. Um, but you know, if I'm ever putting this up with Mrs. Bushcraft Dave, uh, we can quickly run outside with the outs around the outside with the just first set of outside pegs that you need to put in probably about 10 of them 14 of them don't know you do that you get the pole set up wipe the pole in and then realistically temporarily that's fine and then you can empty the car and empty everything into here if the weather conditions aren't great and you don't necessarily need to peg anything out straight away you know it's it's a pretty quick setup which is an awesome thing because I, 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 there's been times even even with just like a four person family tent um, that it can take a long time in windy conditions whereas this even in windy conditions because the weight of it it ain't going to blow away yeah it's a very very good tent price wise it is around about a thousand pounds um I think it was a for us it was about a thousand with the inner tent so so it's probably a little bit less than that on the Kiowa website um, I've noticed there's a new range of these TP tents where instead of it being a canvas material it is more of a traditional tent material which means that you cannot have um, a central stove you can't use a camping stove in it because it would just melt the the plastic um, but as it is much cheaper so if a tp tent's your thing you know if you're getting sick of rain collecting on it there are there are tp tents out there um so that's it i can't think of anything else that i want to tell you about it in which case i hope you found this review useful if you've got any questions about the tent i have used it a lot so if there's anything i've not particularly been able to answer or things that you want to know about then please pop a question in the chat um, and I'll, I'll try and help you out or if I can't help you out I'll do some research on it or I'll try whatever you're worried about on the on my next camping trip but other than that thank you very much for joining us and we, you can see next week the camping trip that we've had although it has been very heavily weather compromised but uh, we still managed to get out and do quite a few bits. Other than that, 
See you in the next one. The old tent is dead. She does not do the waterproofing anymore. Long live the new tent! Crowd goes wild!